another adventure fishing. We're uh, catching the tail end of uh, Storm. I forget the name of whatever it's called. I don't understand why they name storms. What happened to the days where you just said there's going to be a storm, put on an extra coat? But here we are on the River Urn. I'm uh, fishing the marina side of the River Urn at Ballon Lake. Apparently this wind's meant to die down a little bit. And uh, it should be quite an alright day with a little bit of rain, but... Not so sure how much footage I'm going to get on a tripod today because it's... Uh, a wee bit windy. But, welcome to Northern Ireland. The weather is uh, getting a bit worse, but it isn't so bad, I'm catching fish at least. I have two swans in my peg that are, I think the translation for what they were squawking was, oh fuck it's windy. I'm not sure how well you're going to hear me, because the wind is absolutely ripping up the river. It's a weird day's fishing, because the flow usually goes that way, but as you can see, the wind is ripping that way. I'm fishing just at the edge of the green boat in front of me there. See where that water's all chopped up? If you go just past that, it drops into a ledge, it drops into the main channel of the river. So I'm fishing just on the, the ledge. I'm catching some good fish. I've had some nice hybrids, I've had some nice roach. The roach, they're all coming with the lumps on their heads. The roach are all wanting to spawn. They'll probably be, well, after this far up the river, they'll be heading to the River Arnie, because the River Sully's is down that way. Uh, roach swim up rivers to spawn so they'll be swimming up the river sillies or down past us to the river arnie river arnie goes into mcneen and the sillies goes into loch ross it's just one of those facts of nature we have i guess there's no real point using the rod rests at the minute the wind's blowing them off the rest so I'm just holding the rod here, with the tip just under the water. Having to sink the tip, and then watch it like a hawk to see if there's any bites. It's, uh, it's not the most pleasant of uh, afternoons fishing. But it's better than sitting and work. I'm feeding in the ground bait today a kilo of Frenzy Demp and a kilo of Explosive Feeder. Explosive Feeder has got lots of crushed hemp in it and Frenzy Demp as well as the name sounds, lots of more hemp seed in it. This early in the spring, with the, especially with the roach running, you want to get the hemp into the water so they'll stop and feed it a little bit. Apart from the wind absolutely kicking my ass, it hasn't been a really bad day. Just want to show you what I'm feeding. I'm feeding some castor, some maggots, worm, hemp and corn. The hemp and corn is fermented. It's been sitting in the bait tub now for a week, so it's all, well, fermented. Uh, that liquid that comes off of it, the, uh, if there was bream here, the bream would be all over that like a tramp on hot chips. But there's no real bream here at the minute, I've not caught any so far, so it's just getting used as feed inside the, the feeder. I'm also thinking it's time that I go to the van, have a sandwich and have a cigar, because 
I'm hungry and this is kicking my ass. See you in five. I've had to retreat to the car. The wind's just uh, beat, beating the hell out of me. We now have white horses ripping up the river. The direction of the river is that way. It, it runs towards Inniskillen town. But the wind is pushing this way. So it's the weirdest. So weird. It must be weird for fish that get pushed around by the wind and then pushed around by the current. They must just be going, fuck, we don't know where to go. Anyway, I pulled into the van just to get some uh, a break from the wind. To have a chicken and bacon sandwich and get some fluid. Monster energy. But while I'm in here, I might also have a cigar because it's uh, bound to be more enjoyable than getting my butt kicked out in the, uh, the rain and the wind. That's brutal out there. Absolutely brutal. quarter to two. I've probably fished about five and then take a slow drive home back down the road to Oma. There, there won't be uh, much of a video today. Okay I'm catching fish but it's just not enjoyable sitting out there. If there was carp here I'd be one of these guys that would be battening down the hatches in my bivvy but it's a little bit uh, more hardcore when you're sat on top of a, a seat box and you're trying to have to hold on everything to stop it blowing away. But gonna have my sandwich, finish off my drink, have a cigar, and then get back at it. And I'm hoping by this stage the wind will have calmed down just a, a teensy weensy bit. Still a lot better than sat in the office working though. Oh this place here, this place also floods. Surprise, surprise, it's beside a river. I'm going to show you some pictures now of this place flooded. I quite like cigars. A good cigar and some whiskey. That's an awesome afternoon. The thing I like about cigars is that you take your time with them. This isn't a particularly special cigar, it's, it's just a uh, villager's. I do have some nicer cigars in here in the van. They're there for uh, special occasions. I've got some nice Romeo and Juliet ones. I only really smoke them. Not like an everyday cigar, whereas this would be like an everyday cigar. Strange. I go out to do a day's fishing and get some uh, footage for you guys, and it's turned into cigar review time. Let's go. Maybe when I get over this uh, thousand subscribers thing. I'll do live cigar review on the bank with some whiskey. But until then, you're getting the videos you're getting and you'll like it. The wind's not easing off at all.
Toodles. Not the best day, but but I got a few fish. So let's see. What we got, we? I got some stick the last time about how to weigh fish. First of all, you wait. You wet this. Nobody can fucking cry that the waistline wasn't wet. Just the waist wings here. Two and a bit kilos. Not too bad for the weather. Got some cracking pears though. And some not bad hybrids.
that's the end of another day. The wind's only getting worse here. Uh, if the wind would just piss off, it'd be a cracking day. But I think I managed about four hours of good fishing. That was it. Skilling on a Saturday afternoon at half past four. <laughs> and then home. The good news is MSW has been to Asda or Tesco or wherever and got me some uh, bottles of uh, Wastein or beer. Tonight, I might be just a small bit drunk, which is good, because I did something after the day. This time next week, my fat ass will be in Hawaii. Woohoo! I hope you're ready for me and a pair of fucking budgie smugglers, YouTube. Da <laughs>